everybody. This will be a short video walking through the Christmas market in Heidelberg. And I can say the city is very full of people. So I'll walk down a little bit to if anybody is familiar with this place to where Extra Block, that's a restaurant. So I'm gonna film my way back up because I'm not walking the whole way down. So, so I'm gonna cut it off and come back in showing a little bit of the Christmas market. So this is a little of the Christmas market. And today is the ninth, the ninth of December, 2023. It's very pretty. Hi. Hi. <laughs> they sell a lot of Christmas stuff naturally since it's the Christmas market, jewelry, drinks, food. All kind of specialty crafts, wines that they make, uh, a lot of different things. So this is what Germany looks like during Christmas. Kind of nice, a little rainy. Hopefully I don't get too wet. So we're gonna try to jump into the crowd. Like this stand, we're gonna go by. They have a ton of cups. And they got names all in German names. So I doubt if I find my name, Colin. But as you see, water wall people, lots of people. I should have on my wireless mic, but I don't. So we'll see how see what this picks up. So very crowded. I'm just gonna try to stay within the stream. That's a look ahead. And the shops are open. There's them too. So it's not the best weather, but this is where I'm hanging out before we make that journey to the Philippines. Hanging out in Heidelberg for a while. My wife is out doing some things. So I'm just killing some time. So strolling through this crowded city. When we get out of this, there's another spot where they're selling some other things. So I'll cut this and take a short break. So now we got to pick up again. Getting to where a little action is at. So I don't know how well my voice is going to pick up over all of this. Because we've got a little music going on. So we'll just stroll through and take a listen. So here's another 
place that you can buy stuff, partake and drink and food. And we just might try out something since we're here. Why not? So you see how nice and patient everybody is. They wait for the light to turn green. Of course, I can tell you why they're waiting. Those blue cars and yellow green cars, German police. They're everywhere, so nobody wants to jaywalk. <laughs> this is an interesting place here. They're cooking uh, trout or lox, a salmon over open flames, and you get it on a bread, a German bun, with a lot of stuff, cheese and all, as this guy is eating. And you got a grill stand over here that has bratwurst, all the favorites. So we are going to buy a beer. <laughs> and a beer is four euros. And there's the meat. Cooking on the hanging grill. And there are your prices. I beer, bitte. I beer. Pommes, Mädels, rum. Ah, ja, Pommes. Kann ich auch hier sehen. Komm her, komm her. Dankeschön. Ein Bier. Ja. Auf mehr Rennen. Ja, bitte. 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 Fashion German beer right here. Yeah, I gotta put my hat on.
show and take a little pause for the calls. Well, it's me again. I'm back again on this cold, wet day. I couldn't do a video to finish out where I was at in the Christmas market because it started raining way too much. So, I drank my beer. Still wet and cold. Had to put everything away because it's just raining much too much. If I had a GoPro, if I had my GoPro, but it's gone, it would be different. Uh, it's a nice little, nice little market they had set up there, but uh, the weather just wasn't just not there today. If you keep walking through the city very nice too when you get to the end they have a lot of the stuff set up shops things you can buy christmas ornaments um food beverages everything all kind of stuff is on display there that people make certain crafts so you can buy all kind of things but like i said the weather just wasn't there which is a shame would have been nice to sit out there so I'm just in the car now waiting on my lovely bride to contact me and she's ready to go and uh it's warm in here don't believe it or not it's a nice car don't even have the heater on <clears throat> but anyway I wanted to cruise the Christmas market while I'm here we'll probably do it again my wife would be mad that I went without her but I'll tell her hey baby I was doing it for you and I had a beer for you no glue line but a beer so um, yeah that was very nice just too bad so much rain had to come soaking my equipment so I had to put all that away so we'll probably go down there again that's what I want to do attend a Chris uh, show up at one of those Christmas markets before we roll out of here and uh, yeah we're about done with we're almost done with everything we need to do I'll say we Completed 98%. There's a lot of things to do when you're picking up your whole life and moving into another country. There's a tremendous amount of things that you have to do, especially for me, because I work for the U.S. government. And uh, it's like for the first time, and meant in a long time, ain't got nothing to get up for in the morning. And it's okay. I'm really anxious to get to the Philippines, you know, to start our new life. We just want to have a good time, enjoying ourselves, relaxing, chilling, traveling, working on my barbecue, working on my fishing skills, you know, playing with the grandchildren, them bugging us to death. I can't wait for it, a little stress from the little folks. So trying to keep my son on the straight and narrow. <laughs> so we got we we're gonna be pretty much busy for I would say the first half of the year. Our life is already dictated to us. So I don't have to worry about having nothing to do because we still have some things to finish with, you know, with the house. You know, with a house you never really finish with anything. So, it's just getting our life in order. That's going to be the main thing there. So, that's going to already be driven. Then maybe after about six months, we'll be through with all of that. And we can sit back and chill. Maybe. <laughs> but like I say, we just want to enjoy life. You know, getting up in the morning having breakfast together, go somewhere for lunch, even go somewhere for breakfast, who knows. And I want to take her on, on a few trips, you know, to all the places she's never been to. Because 
She's been living over here in Germany too, just like me for a long time. She even longer. So she hasn't seen a lot of things in the Philippines and she can't wait to get home. That's been her whole dream is to move back to the Philippines. And so we're we're doing that. We're making that come true. So I think that's enough for now. Thank everybody for joining me on this very wet Saturday. And uh, please come back again and again if you got any questions, something you want to see before we roll out of here, let me know. So, and I wish everybody a very happy Christmas, happy holidays. <clears throat> Be nice to one another. Love one another. We are, you know, don't have anybody else who's just 